This tutorial is uh, about comparing uh, the shapes triangles, uh, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids, and how you can break some figures up into figures that you're more familiar with to find areas. So for example, the, this, is, uh, this shape that you see here right now is a parallelogram. Uh, I haven't got the arrows on, but this side is meant to be parallel to this side. I mean, if I really wanted to, you know, I could do that. Okay, so those two sides are parallel. These actually would be parallel as well. So, uh, so let me get rid of my arrows. I won't bother with them. So what I wanted to get across on this page is that every parallelogram can actually be broken up and then a rectangle with the same area created from it. So for example, if I take one of these triangles and move it over here, see it's still made up of the same uh, three shapes. There's a big rectangle in the middle and there's two, two triangles. So it would have to have the same area. See the, uh, let's put that, well actually let's just undo that, put it right back there. The area formula for a rectangle, and there's a couple different versions of this, but I'm going to call this the base right here. And this dimension up and down here is called the height. And so if we move this rectangle over here, see those two dimensions are still the base and the height. And if you remember from a rectangle, the area is the length of the base multiplied by the height. So it's the same for a parallelogram with the same directions, uh, dimensions. Now, some people will, instead of B and H, they'll use uh, length and width for this dimension. So it's the same thing. Area is still the dimension on the bottom that I'm calling the length now, multiplied by how wide it is. Okay, so exactly the same thing, whichever way you write the formula. So the formula for the area of a uh, parallelogram, just like the area of a rectangle, is the length of it multiplied by how high it is. And here's another example on this page. Um, now this is meant to connect the, uh, the formulas for triangles and parallelograms. So uh, as I just talked on the previous page, uh, so here's my parallelogram here, the area is the base times the height. And again, this would be my base right here. And this dimension right here would be, and of course perpendicular to one side, would be the height. Now, if we wanted to find the area of not just the whole parallelogram, but the area of one of these triangles. So let's say I just wanted the area of that. See, there's two triangles the same. So the area of the one triangle would have to be half of this. So that's why you'll often see the formula written like this. It's base times height divided by two, or sometimes you'll see it written like this. And this is the same thing. It's a half of the base times the height. Taking the half of something is the same as dividing it by two. Now, um, the diagram at the top here, the, um, you see, I can rearrange again, it's the same area into this whole rectangle. Okay, so uh, notice the uh, dimension across the bottom or the top here. This is still my base. And this is still my height. It's the same, see that height and that height are the same. This base across here is the same length as that. Uh, I can demonstrate that by using a line segment here. So let's draw a line segment the same length over here. That's pretty well exactly it. See if I bring that down, you can see that it is the same length. Okay, so, and well, I guess we could do the same thing to uh, compare the heights. Actually, it's probably easier if I just draw one. So this is my, oops, didn't get my shape going good enough here. Let's try that again. There we go, there's my height. So that is the height of the triangle. Okay, so 
Okay, so once again, uh, you can find the area of a triangle by taking half of the area of, our, of a rectangle or parallelogram, the same as two of the triangles. On to the last one. So this is a trapezoid here. And um, I'm going to, now I'll, I'll explain where the formula comes. I'm just going to write it up here for the moment. And again, B is the dimension across the base. Okay, so just like a triangle or a rectangle. Now, uh, the uh, little a is the dimension across the top. Okay, and don't confuse that with the capital A. Capital A means area. The little a is just the length of that shorter parallel, the two parallel sides. Remember, a trapezoid has two sides that are parallel, well, at least two, actually. So this is the formula. You actually take the a plus the b and divide that by 2, and you multiply it by the height, the h. So uh, here's my height dimension. I'll put it in here. That's my height. Again, I'm trying to draw it so it's perpendicular to uh, the, the parallel sides. Now, actually, I'm going to draw two of those in because I want to explain where this formula is coming from. There we go, right there. Now, uh, let's use red to do this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like right in the middle between here and here or vertically going through the middle of this side. Uh, I'm going to draw a, a vertical line segment straight up and down. Maybe that's not quite in the middle. That's pretty close there. And I will connect it together like that. And I'm going to do the same thing over on the right side here. So again, another vertical line segment. Uh, there we go. Whoops, I did not mean to grab a hold of that. Well, we'll start up here. That's pretty close to the middle. There we go. And there we go here. Okay. So, um, the um, now I'm going to talk about a rectangle. Uh, let's do this in purple. Okay, I'm going to draw. Uh, I have to draw a rectangle by making a square first and then doing some stretching. So I want to show you the rectangle I'm talking about. Okay, so that's the rectangle I'm talking about. Okay, so we'll move this off here. So. What I'm trying to say here is that rectangle and the trapezoid have the same area. Okay, so think of it this way. Actually, let's put that rectangle back. This little bit right in here, see this little triangle right here? That triangle is outside of that rectangle, okay? But it's the same size as this one up here that I'm kind of missing because like that's not actually, wasn't actually inside the original trapezoid. So if you think of this uh, triangle here, it, since it's extra note side of the rectangle, if we flip that up here, it'd be the same size as that one. And the same thing over here. This area right here is the same size area as what's outside here, like in the trapezoid, but it's not in the rectangle. So if I kind of flip that up, then I've actually made out of the trapezoid this rectangle. So the rectangle, the purple one, is the same area because it's made of the same parts uh, as the original trapezoid. Now, how do we get that formula? Well, it's an interesting formula. So um, I'm going to rewrite it here. It's the height multiplied by, uh, this part seems kind of complicated, but it's really not too bad. Okay, what this actually is, okay, it's this distance across the original bottom of the trapezoid plus this A here divided by 2. Now, if you take two things and add them together and divide by 2, that actually gives you an average. Okay, so that actually is the, I'm going to draw one more line segment here. That actually is the distance across here. Let's see if I can uh, keep on grabbing that. I'll do it this way. Uh, 
there we go. That actually is the distance across. See, that length is larger than B, smaller than A. That is actually the average uh, width across or base across the, the, uh, the trapezoid. So that's what this a plus b time a plus b over 2 part means. It's the average of those two lengths of the parallel sides. So it's really a, a lot like the parallelogram and rectangle where you have a height and you're multiplying it by a base. See, because the bases in the trapezoid are uh, the one on top and bottom aren't the same length, if you take the average of those two, it's the same as having a length for like a rectangle or uh, uh, and then you can, it's really the same kind of formula. So that's where the trapezoid area formula comes from. And that's the end of the tutorial.